So I just wanted to talk about secularism. There's no heaven above, there's no hell down below. All we have is this. All we have is right here. So I just want to talk about um, how I'm feeling right now. Um, you know, I, I'm not even like an atheist per se. I don't, I'm not anti-religion. I just believe there's so much beauty in the secular world that I don't think I should um, confine myself to some belief in a higher power when I've never seen evidence of a higher power. Um, I do believe there's a lot of power in poetry. There's a lot of power in studying religion. There's power in the things we say, the things we know. Um, it's just really difficult sometimes because it's difficult sometimes to find meaning in a secular world. Like, it's, it's easier to find meaning if you're a Christian, if you're a Muslim, whatever, but it's easier to find meaning if you have a religion, but it's harder to find meaning in a secular world, in a, in a world devoid of purpose or serving any sort of God. I don't believe in serving God. I believe in serving myself, and if that makes me selfish, fine, I'm selfish. You might say I'm a nihilist. Um, you could say I'm a nihilist, sure, I could title this video nihilist nihilism if I wanted to, but I do believe in some secular things. I didn't want to just, just title this video nihilism because I do believe in the power of some secular ideas, some some earthly ideas that are uh, actually very powerful and, and some, like I believe in, I like movies, I like music. I used to like video games when I was a kid, I used to like Disney movies when I was a kid. Um, there's some great things in this world, and it's, 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 I'm not just like a nihilist, I don't just believe in nothing. I do believe in some things, I believe in good food, and I believe the power that good food has on people. I also worry about microplastics, and that's, and that's the negative side of life, the dark side of life, is I worry about the microplastics that I get from this good food, and I worry about hurting myself from eating this and I worry about eating the wrong food and sometimes I get so high on this food that I think it's going to hurt me long term. I think the microplastics could destroy me and it could uh, give me heart disease because I eat such an unhealthy diet but that's the issue about being raised lower class as I was born um, eating these unhealthy foods. You know I I wouldn't say I grew up in a food desert, but, you know, I don't have a personal chef. You know what I mean? The, the, the rich people hire personal chefs, and that's how you avoid microplastics in your food, is if you have a personal chef. But I don't have a personal chef, so I eat foods with microplastics in it. And that's just the way it is. That's just the way. I, and that's the dark side of life. And, that's, and, and you could say microplastics are a form of hell. But it's not actual hell. They're a form of hell, but they're not actual hell. They will shorten your life expectancy significantly, yes. You know, if, if, if I was a vegan, I would live longer. But I don't know how to get enough calories from veganism. I don't know how to, how to get 2,000 calories a day from eating vegan. A lot of those people order goods that are from, like, Peru or something like, 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 like quinoa. Quinoa is from Peru. And they talk about buying local, but... King was from Peru, so if you're, you're not really a local buying vegan if you're buying quinoa, you know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, you could buy local rices and stuff, but it's, I, I know if I eat rice, I would, I, I, I don't know, because I do want protein. I do want the, the protein that's in the turkey from a Lunchable. I just don't know how processed is a Lunchable, um. So those, those are all secular things I care about. Secular podcasts. I like listening to the Ezra Klein show. I like uh, browsing through YouTube. I like uh, reading Twitter. I like all different kinds of ideas. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult sometimes because you don't know you don't know what you're doing with your life. And you, you, it's hard to find meaning in your life in this secular world. Like you think, oh, starting a family and, you know, becoming a hardcore fundamentalist Christian will give you some meaning in life. Well, I think in the out front it would give you meaning, but long term, I don't really think it would give you the meaning you really wanted. I don't think fundamentalist Christianity would give you, would really give you the meaning in your life you wanted. It might seem like it would give you meaning in life. It might seem like 
It would make all your dreams come true. But I just don't believe that's reality. I believe that's a fictionalized version of reality. I don't think Christianity answers your real questions. I don't believe it really makes you feel better if I, you know, you know, join somebody's church and ask to marry someone. I don't really think that would make uh, my life better. I see storms going on outside because we're destroying this planet with CO2 emissions. And nobody cares about the CO2 emissions because everyone's so busy going to church. Everyone's so busy worrying about the spiritual world that they're not focused on the secular world. I care, I care, I care about the spiritual world too. We're all just spirits in a material world though. We're spirits in a material world and we have to care about the secular world because this is all there is. This is all there is so we have to take care of it. We have to take care of our bodies. We have to not f ingest m microplastics and we have to not spread CO2 emissions everywhere we go. And, not let these storms overwhelm us and not um, let these winds get to 50 miles per hour because we destroy the ice caps and we melt everything, and turn everything to, to sand and make droughts everywhere we go. And we have to be careful not to destroy our planet with pollution. And if we do that, then we can make the secular world better than the spiritual world. And, and that's what I have to say about that. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about uh, the secular uh, secularism what do you think what should we do to make the secular world the best it can be and do you believe in secularism or are you a more spiritual person sometimes i'm more spiritual sometimes i think about more spiritual ideas but right now i like to think about secular things because that's what real that's what reality is reality is based in secularism so let me know in the comments below what do you think about secularism please subscribe to this channel be part of the community and please like this video. It really helps the channel out a lot. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.